decode your life. This is something that I am currently working on and wanted to share with all of you. So while I was in the grocery store uh, two weeks ago, I saw a copy of this, The Magic. It's um, written by the lady who, who produced and wrote um, The Secret, which I'm sure many of you have seen and heard about, which gives an overview of the law of attraction. And um, as many people have discovered, The Secret has some flaws in it in the projection of how to apply the law of attraction. However, I have to say this book is incredible. Um, it's a 28 day course in applying gratitude to your everyday life in every area. Until I um, began reading this book, I thought I was actually a very grateful person. Come to discover it's actually very ungrateful. As most of us are, it's, it's operating at an unconscious level. So this book is actually what led me to the discovery of this message that I bring you today. What do I mean by decode your life? Everything that's happening to you on the outside is a projection, a mirror of something that's going on inside of you internally, as well as a message that's being sent to you. Many times uh, we get so caught up in our reaction and therefore our emotions tied to any circumstance that we completely miss the message that's being sent to us. And so this is when you see um, patterns repeating. You know, the same scenario happens with a different people. You know, you might get into an argument with a friend and it, it ends the friendship. Uh, two years later, you meet someone that really reminds you of that person. I mean, they're the exact archetype of that person. And you end up having the same exact meltdown in the friendship. And if you don't deal with the message that's being sent in that moment, then when that friendship ends, guess what? <laughs> Another year, two, three years down the road, same thing's going to happen all over again until you, you learn from that experience. So I believe we can apply this to actually everything that's happening to us. Anything that you especially have a really strong negative reaction to, there's really something going on there that you need to analyze. Many people will say, how did I cause that? You know, somebody saying being rude to me or somebody saying something nasty to me. First of all, you're holding a certain energy and a frequency about yourself and therefore if people are being ugly and nasty with you many times it's because you are already feeling that way about yourself that is an opportunity for you to change how you view yourself sometimes it's just because they're in a bad mood and you can't take it personal you know we hear this over and over and over again it's one of the four agreements um, if you've never read the four agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz I highly suggest that you get a copy. He's also written The Mastery of Love, which is another incredible read. But in the four agreements, one of the main agreements is don't take it personal. Now that's real easy to say, but when somebody, especially someone that you know, someone that you trust, says something really demoralizing to you, says something to you that just is not true about you and it, it can be very hurtful we get caught instantly most of the time we're going to have a reaction the key is to catch yourself the key is to say this absolutely has nothing to do with me first of all if i already know my own truth then it doesn't matter what this person is saying about me. Then that is only their interpretation of me. It is not my truth. So no one outside of you really has control over how you feel. So that's step number one. Once you can get there, then you can even take it a step further and say to yourself, what message is being sent to me right now? Why did this negative circumstance happen? Let me dig down into it. I actually applied this, um, this week I had something happen 
in my work environment. And I got really worked up about it at first. And then I went actually to my journal because you all know that I love to write. So for me, writing it out is key. And I actually really suggest that as you are trying to decode your life, that you get yourself, whether you want to do it on your laptop or you like to handwrite and get yourself um, a notebook, especially when the negative things happen, because this is what get, gets us in the negative mental loops, that we keep replaying the scenario, we start getting angry, we start getting frustrated, and it just lowers our, our vibration. So the tool to get yourself as a life draft, basically, out of these situations is first of all, go ahead and write the situation out, exactly what happened, and try to do it from a detached standpoint. You are documenting what happened. You're staying away from the emotional entanglement that got caused from the situation. Once you write out the situation, you can then look at what has happened, and you have to be very honest with yourself. That's where enlightenment and self-empowerment and growth evolution comes from. You have to be willing to always take that hard look at yourself. And when you look at the situation, you have to ask yourself, okay, what could I have done to have caused this situation? Whether it was I was mentally projecting maybe the same exact thing on someone else last week and although I let it go I held this negative thought maybe for a few hours and now this scenario was projected at me so that I would understand the depth of what I had done a week ago and so it's it's to balance things out so you have to first of all be willing to take a really hard look at yourself what did you do to possibly cause it what hidden message, what message is being sent to you? Our reality is filled with the messages that are coming through. It's absolutely amazing when you start paying attention. When you begin analyzing and decoding your life this way, it allows you the power to first of all, Look at your own life and, and have that control. It's, it's very empowering to be able to take any situation that happens outside of you and to see the benefit, to understand that there is something within that experience that is meant to help you evolve. Then nothing is bad. You quit viewing yourself as separate from everything that's going on outside of you. You understand on a deeper level that it's all a reflection of what's going on inside of you. You will start to find as you refine and you start applying this to your life, how much smoother things start going. We're constantly reacting, constantly. One of my biggest ones is in the car, admittedly, I really can have some negative dialogue going in the car. Um, I caught it a few weeks ago. You know, here I am, I'm really in this positive mindset much of my day. However, once I'm in the car, it's like I'm the road critic. I've got to criticize the way everyone else is driving. And the minute you introduce those, those negative thoughts, guess what? Instantly, it's the law of attraction. It leads to the next negative thought. That has absolutely nothing to do with the people on the road. So you want to start trying to filter a lot of this stuff out. You find a real deep peace and calm. You're no longer anxious about the next eruption that might happen in your life. You will start to view those eruptions, those disruptions, as opportunities refine to continue refining your experience here it's uncovering excavating those inner things that you are unconscious of you see many times we are not conscious of the negative thoughts and patterns that we're still holding 
And that is why they manifest in the outside world, so that we can clearly see them. And then we can surrender and let them go, and we can clear them out, never to have to be dealt with again. Now on the flip side, if you don't decode your life and you take each scenario for just what's happening, then unfortunately you're gonna fall victim. You're gonna be a victim. Everything is being done to you. Nothing is fair. Nothing is right. The universe is unkind. Only some people get real joy and the rest of us get dumped on. I don't understand why this is happening. Why is this happening to me? Why me, God? I don't deserve this. When you do this and you have this kind of inner dialogue, you turn, you ignore, you shun the message being sent to you, the message being sent to you to help you evolve. Therefore, many times, if you ignore long enough, the messages get more intense. They get more dramatic. They get more painful. So that you have to, at some point, face the reality so that you can cleanse and clear this stuff out. Wouldn't it be so much easier to take every situation, decode it as it happens and deal with it? I promise you, if you do this, you will start seeing your life magically transform very fast, very fast. So I hope this message finds everyone well and you can find some use in this tool. Namaste.